Welcome to Square One Games, my name is Exonovan and this is my Road to Completion Guide for Red Death. In this series, I will show you how to unlock every single trophy this game has to offer and I really hope you enjoy the run. A few quick announcements before we get started. Number one, check the description and my pinned comment for a full video timeline in case you need to skip around to a specific part of the guide. Number two, if I have to make a correction, I will leave a note in my pinned comment. Number three, I monitor my comments 24 hours a day, seven days a week, so if you have any questions about this guide or any other guides on the channel, let me know immediately by leaving a comment. I will respond to you as quickly as possible. That's all the announcements. Enjoy the guide. We can unlock three trophies for dying 18 times and three trophies for collecting 20 pickups. You can see the number of ships you have left by looking in the top right corner of the screen and the pickups drop when you kill certain enemies or lose a ship. To unlock all six trophies, die on purpose and collect pickups each time you respawn. When the game resets you back to the main menu, start a new game and keep farming until you have the following trophies. Loser 1, Loser 2, Loser 3, and Collector 1, Collector 2, Collector 3. Press options and go back to the main menu so you can start a fresh game with all your lives. I'm going to explain in detail how to play this game so you can rack up the 80,000 points needed to unlock the 103 trophy by the end of the run. Stay in the center of the screen and press X to shoot the first enemy. Each time an enemy dies, they drop a star. Collecting stars will earn you points and help build the overload meter on the right of the screen. If you die, the overload meter resets to zero. There are two things you need to know about dodging bullets. Number one, the hitbox on your ship is located in the center, so it's possible to clip through bullets at specific angles without taking damage. Number two, enemies fire several bullets, but only one bullet, which I'll call the primary bullet, is on a direct course to hit your ship. All the other bullets are designed to confuse and limit your ability to dodge the primary bullet. See the primary bullet? It's the bullet in the middle of the back row. The primary bullet always knows where your ship is the second it's fired. Killing certain enemies will give you a pickup. You can tell which pickup you're getting by looking at the blinking letter. S stands for ship, which is an extra life. L stands for laser. M stands for missiles. And I'm not really sure what P stands for, but I'm going to say that it stands for plus because it adds an additional bullet to your normal shot. The laser is by far the dominant pickup along with extra ships, so make sure to grab these pickups when you can. It's very tricky to survive the next bullet pattern, so fly your ship into the eyeball on the left. Yes, this will kill you, but 
When you respawn, you will have a few seconds of invincibility which you can use to defeat the remaining enemies. The best part about this strategy is you'll have just enough time to grab the laser and fill your overload meter before you fight the main boss of this stage. Now let's talk about the rest of the trophies. Most of the trophies will unlock naturally as you play through the game, so you don't have to worry about those. Instead, focus on the following trophies. Killer 3 for killing 4 bosses, Berserker 3 for deploying 5 overloads, and Hunter 3 for reaching 80,000 points. We'll save Hunter 3 for last, so for now just focus on killing 4 bosses and using 5 overloads. Both of these trophies can be farmed on stage 1 and the process begins after your death in the previous sequence. Kill as many enemies as you can to collect stars and build your overload. Make sure to grab the laser and when you reach the main boss, press O to deploy your overload. This will give you credit for the berserker trophies and then hold down X to kill the main boss to get credit for the killer trophies. Depending on how many points you have, you might unlock the trophy Hunter 2, but don't worry about it if you don't. Just start a fresh game after killing the boss and repeat this until you unlock Killer 3 and Berserker 3. I'll demonstrate this over the next few minutes of gameplay. Yeah. <laughs> 
When you reach stage 2, you'll have about 40,000 points, but we need 80,000 points to unlock the Hunter 3 trophy. Avoid the tentacles and bullet patterns by positioning your ship in the lower left corner of the screen. It's possible to dodge through this bullet pattern. If you can pull this off, you'll have the laser for the next boss fight. 
I took a death on purpose so I could demonstrate the boss fight without the laser. The bullet pattern for this boss is insane, but remember, we are only worried about the primary bullets. Notice my ship, very small deliberate movements, just enough to avoid the primary bullet while keeping the bullet pattern predictable. If you die, don't worry about it. All the bullets will turn into stars, which is great for increasing your point total. And when you respawn, you'll have a few seconds of invincibility, which you can use to deal heavy damage to the boss. The goal is to just make it through this boss fight with as many ships as possible without getting a game over. The skull sequence is tricky because all the bullets are primary bullets, but this works to our advantage because as long as we move in one direction, we can stay safe. This boss fight has two primary bullets that you'll need to dodge. They'll converge on your ship at an angle from the left and right side. Concentrate on small movements while dealing damage and this boss will eventually retreat. There are no primary bullets during this sequence, so the goal is to kill the enemies quick so you can decrease the total number of bullets on screen. If you still have the laser, the enemies die fast, but the standard weapon makes this sequence tough. If you die, Collect as many stars as you can for points and use your invincibility to clear the sequence. Power. Power. You should be very close to 80,000 points when you catch up to the boss. There will be two primary bullets to dodge during this fight and they converge just like the previous encounter, except one bullet is slightly delayed. I'll slow down the footage so you can see what I'm talking about. See how they converge? But the primary bullet on the left traveled faster than the bullet on the right. To avoid losing a ship, fly just outside the path of both bullets. Keep this up, continue to deal damage, and eventually you enter the next phase of the fight. During this phase, the primary bullets travel in straight lines and converge in the center of the screen. Make good use of vertical movement to avoid losing a ship, but if you do, remember to use that brief moment of invincibility to deal as much damage to the boss as possible. The third phase of this fight copies phase two, except the primary bullets flow in a particular order, left, down, right, and up. Power. When the boss changes form, fly slightly to the left of the huge primary bullet to avoid losing a ship. You should be extremely close to 80,000 points when you reach the last phase of the fight. To get some quick points, wait for the screen to fill up with bullets and die on purpose. Collect stars while you have invincibility to drive up your point total. On average, each death should net you about 15 to 1800 points. Of course, defeating the boss will give you a ton of points as well. 
Once you have more than 80,000 points, the Hunter 3 trophy will unlock, and that should be enough to unlock the Platinum trophy, Space Pilot. And that's it. If you enjoy my Road to Completion series, consider supporting me on Patreon. I will love to continue creating guides full time next year, but I can only do that with your help. Thanks for watching. My name is Exonovit, and I'll see you in the next one. Be good.